They say, oh wow, you do like a full conceal thing. I don't think I've ever seen this. Yeah. Groundbreaking. Hello and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I have my lovely sister Hi. Kate with me. <laughs> and I thought we'd just do a get ready with me with our travel makeup. We've laid it all out. <laughs> We'll just talk it through. I'm super excited to have Kate with me. She's been very supportive of my makeup addiction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I helped you get started actually. Yeah, you did. With Long So yes. now Peru is more of an expert than I am and has a lot more makeup than me. So it'll be interesting to see what our makeup turns out to be. It will. <laughs> And yeah, and sorry, we're outside, but there's no room inside. There's screaming babies in there. Yeah. <laughs> Thought we'd best stay out here. So I'm just going to start. We've both already put down the Mecca Cosmetica SPF cream because we're in, well, we're in Adelaide at the moment and the sun is so strong. So now we start with our foundation. I'm going to do primer. Okay. Can I try your primer? Yeah, sure. This is a Smashbox primerizer. It is my fave. Okay. I've got, I don't normally wear primer, so... Yeah, Kate's one of the no primer wearer people. <laughs> Does it give a glow or matte? No, it's just got hyaluronic acid in it, so it is meant to moisturize more. Okay. That's why I like it mostly. And hyaluronic? Hyaluronic acid is for plumping, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like they a put really. It in filler. Oh, do they? I have no idea. Yeah. See, Kate is much more knowledgeable than me with a lot of different products. And <laughs> Annette was making me do, because <laughs> it's so hot and sweaty here. Primer, then setting spray, then foundation. Do you want to try this? Yeah. Are you going to sweat your makeup off? Do you sweat in yeah. your face much? Not really. See, I sweat on my face so much. But I did this the other day and oh. I fully locked it in. So thank you, Annette, from Annette's Makeup Corner for your hot tips. That was nice and cooling. <laughs> yeah. And now, <laughs> foundation. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty in 120. And Kate, what do you want? Um, I'm using the NARS. Natural Radiant Longwear. Sun. And it's Vanuatu colour. I had to drop down a, a shade since it's getting a bit pale. <laughs> I know, she's still so dark compared to me though. <laughs> well, this is your first time doing your makeup on the camera? Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's mix it. Oh, you like put it out and then mix it on the back of your hand? Um, I put a little bit of Tom Marac in there. Who? The oh. Tom Marac. Yeah, this she's a foundation mixer person. <laughs> yeah. Because it's a lightweight one and this one's so... It's quite heavy. Oh, okay. See, I've never gotten into mixing the foundations much. I just go with whatever the formula is. Yeah. Uh, but Kate's actually been... Uh, She's worked as a makeup artist and she used to work for Lancome and sort of a bit yeah. Revlon. Well, yeah, I still have my favorite products from Revlon, which was like I bought it the other day while I'm in Australia. I got the eyebrow pencil, Color Stay. Oh, I have to say it's really good. Yeah. All right, I better go pick that up. Normally I just use eyeshadow, but when I find that, uh -huh. I always use it. But Dubai doesn't sell it. Yeah, sorry, I don't know. My sister lives in Dubai, so I haven't seen her in like was it a, a, year? a year. A year. So it's been great having her down for Christmas. Yep. I'm super excited to force her on my channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've sort of gotten into makeup while she's been away. So she sort of sees me, and then I've suddenly got lots more makeup just constantly piling up. Yeah. And, and she. You've gotten a lot better at makeup as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no. It's an ongoing process. Yeah. It's just all practice. Mm. I think, and then looking at your looks as well. Because for ages I would just put makeup on and then walk out the house. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't care. Actually, the lighting's pretty good out here. Yeah, that's why I thought natural light would be at least... At least we know what it looks like straight after. Um, what am I up to? Concealer. Me too. What one are you? Oh, where's my custard? Oh yeah, we just went and picked up. So Kate has me on. She got me on the Nars Radiant Creamy Bandwagon. Yeah. 
I am vanilla and her shade's custard. Do you want to go get it or are you happy? No, it's okay. I'll use this one. I have a little sample. <laughs> That's like the cutest sample ever. <laughs> oh, I see. You've lined your mirror up good. I'm going for the compact. Uh, My boyfriend always thinks I'm an Indian when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because are you like oh oh you're doing the full I just full glam like lighten up here. Cause... I feel like I should do some of that too. Then I don't think I ever really put concealer all over my face like this. I started getting like dark on my top lip, so oh. things with aging. I know, it's annoying when you start paying attention to your face and you're like, oh, there's all these things changing. Mm. I look a bit scary now. <laughs> no, that's it. Let's see, oh wow, you do like a full conceal thing. I don't think I've ever seen this. Yeah. Groundbreaking. <laughs> I just fill in the bits and pieces. And then also oh, you use it like as your highlighter. In a way, yeah, I guess. Just to lighten up areas. Yeah, I'm so annoyed. I left my concealer brush home. So I'm going to use this huge foundation brush. Yeah. Alright, and then I'm going to do... I'm going to do brows. Yeah, sometimes I go straight from brows. Yeah, well, you always told me to wait for your foundation to dry. Yeah. That's that sort of, I think, true. what I use it for. I wait for the foundation to dry. Oh, but I was going to set my foundation. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. Brought the NARS powder. Oh, is that it dark? Yeah, I've never even looked at this one. She's got the NARS. So you use this, like, is, do you use that to set your foundation? Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, just by the same shade of your foundation. Oh, yeah. I've got the Hourglass Finishing Powders. Have you tried them yet? No, I'll try it. And then um, I've got the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. So what I was going to do is set my face with that one, then spritz it again. Was I? No, no, spritz at the end. Oh, okay, so it's shiny. Yeah, they, they look weird. You should try, try them, because I don't think they do anything. They do something, but I'm not sure. I'm so we can get an expert's opinion. They make it look like really nice and natural. Oh, I guess. I, I just cover my face with it, because I, yeah. Because I like a bit of shimmer all over actually. Oh, okay, yeah. It makes it like glowy. Well, this is really like a subtle glow. Or are you seeing it much? Are you seeing much glow? Hmm. Just subtle, yeah. I find it just makes it all look pretty. Okay, should I do my? I'll do my eyes with you. I need the first. I've done one. What one are you using? I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown. Oh yeah, so it's like a gel. Yeah. But mine's gone a bit no, yuck. I'll show you. It's just drying. Mm. I've had it for ages. I know it sucks if you don't close it once. It's like that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know, but I don't need to fill my brows in much. Do you do much to yours? Yeah, I like go from the bottom and do the arch and then bring it. Oh yeah. And then I do the top where I want it like sharp. Hmm. And then with this brush, you just like push it up. Make oh yes, yeah, so you do little hairs. See, this is this is great for me because I'm just paying attention to what can. I think it's rare that you sort of sit down and you like stare at what someone else is doing. Yeah. Also, the bathroom we have here is tiny, so I can't sit sit in there yeah. for too long. See my <laughs> the difference in your eyebrows. Yeah, and hopefully the lighting's okay. We're just underneath a tree. <laughs> yeah. But it's uh, it's pretty sunny here. It's actually really hot. Yeah. I think it's meant to be 41 degrees today. Yeah. Well, so that's like one of those... Uh, yeah, I don't normally like them, but I don't know, this colour is just like really good. Yeah, I've got the Benefit one. I gave it to Jeanette 
like the stick like that. Mm. I, my favorite is the Benefit Precisely Brow. It's what I usually use. Sometimes I just find they go a bit gray. <laughs> yeah. Like they're not, I don't know, I like them darker. Um, oh yeah. And you should set your foundation before powder bronze. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I haven't used the concealer in this yet. Oh yeah, hopefully you like it. She wanted like a really nice under eye concealer. But I couldn't find one. Actually, if you watch my channel, you've seen this already, but she's used it now. How oh, exciting. Yeah. Um, she wanted a really nice under eye concealer, but I also knew she just likes the NARS one. Is that the concealer or the, the bronzer. bronzer? Oh yeah, and the hula bronzer. So I bought this one because it has the hula bronzer in it for her. Because then at least if she hates the rest of them, I figured she'd definitely like the hula bronzer. Is that a really popular one? Yeah, it's super popular. She's never heard about it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't bought much. It's Benefit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which usually it's in the cardboard box. Yeah. I'm not a fan of um, cream highlighters though. Yeah, that was a weird addition in there. They cake up your foundation. Oh okay. Too much. Alright, so I'm just setting my foundation with the Hourglass Veil. And then I've forgotten. I was trying to be all organised. Here it is. I guess I, I don't know what colour eyeshadow to do. No, I have no idea either. Do you want to use my Too Faced Gingerbread? For a natural. It smells really good. I got nervous using new ones though. Really? What? Oh, because you don't know what it's going to be. Yeah. This one looks quite nice. Do you get oily eyelids? Um, yeah, from the foundation it gets cakey, but mm. you just have to... Oh, so you put foundation on your eyes? Hmm. Wow. Yeah, in my makeup course, they so you cover literally everything, and then you actually set the concealer on your eyes. Oh. Yeah, so there's like a new trend where you don't set the concealer. Yeah, for dewy. Maybe. Oh no, like on the eyes. Sorry, mm. I should for them. But you don't set it, and then you sort of pack it, and then blend out. Okay. That's nice. But I'm just putting the Too Faced shadow on sure it's down because my eyelids get so oily. Does it actually work though? Yeah, man. You know, watch one of my videos. I'll come back with the wettest. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <Maybe watch that. laughs> like after a 12 hour shift. Yeah, and this is the one I use the most. But not all the eyeshadows last. That one, the, two, the gingerbread did pretty well. Uh, but there was one that didn't do the bare minerals or our lights so that lasted like terribly. So what do you do? You're just putting brown in your eyes? Yep. Keep it not pretty natural. See, so yeah, I'm gonna be fascinated coming back and watching what you're doing. Do you do the top one? What do you mean the top one? I mean, do you do up here first? Yeah, usually. I change it sometimes. I just kind of go for it and then I just blend it up. <laughs> Seems to work. Out. Oh yeah. So you just like, do you normally just do two shadows? Um, yeah, like I've gotten a bit lazy. I just do two if I'm going to work. Oh, yeah. something. So I'm just bronzing with, I've got a uh, milk chocolate so soleil from the Too Faced, it's still going strong. Should I bronze my neck? You bronze your neck. Yeah. What do you do? You just put it everywhere? I bronze under here to cover. Uh -huh. And then, and your jawline, like you can sculpt it. A bit. Like that? Yeah. And then bring it down. I don't think I've ever bronzed my neck. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure I've seen, I've seen people do it. Should I use pink? Uh, yeah. Do what you want. That's really light. Don't use the frostbite shade. 
that white shade, don't touch it. It's horrible. Okay. It's the worst shade. Alright, and then I'm just going to go in with a... So this is one of the purchases Kate would have got me on two ages ago. Do you remember the Lancome Blush Subtle, Subtle in Mauve Co Coquette? I put this in my favourites the other day. Oh yeah, I love that one. Yeah, did you make me buy this? I don't even know how I got it. It's really good for like under the cheekbone a little bit. Yeah, that came with the pack, that one. Yeah, so because Kate used to work for Lancome, I have so many Lancome products that I just last for ages. I feel like I can just see all my texture in the sunlight. Oh yeah, you do have a bit of the sun on you. <laughs> yeah, I can just see all my pores through all these shadows. Mm -hmm. That's alright, I'll, I'll live. And I feel like, I don't know if you can see, did I go too crazy on the blush? No. Oh no. Cool. Because what you can do is use the hourglass powders to then power down anything you went too crazy on. Oh, that's really handy. So I'm going to go down with the hourglass powder now and I'm just going to put this all over and I'm going to go, I think it's dim light. Could be a mistake, I decided to use three for you. <laughs> she's, she's gone full power. What do you do? Orange. Oh, that's nice. It's a gingerbread one. Oh, yeah. I know it's annoying when the shades look different than what they were. Yeah. Then you just have to go with it once it's on. <laughs> you do. You got no choice. So, I'm going to go and I've got my Silver Gunny palette. I'm going to use. And put S Club down. Sorry, you're going to struggle to see this very much. We should talk more and make it more amusing. Um, no, that's right. There'll be heaps, <laughs> heaps to edit. Oh, I know. Uh, well, there's like no food here. So are these all just your favourites, the ones that you travel with? No, I choose at random. Really? Yeah. Because <laughs> like I have loads of makeup, but then I just end up being with the ones that I like and know. I don't know. I can never make anything a favourite. I'm the worst. Uh, there's stuff I don't like and then I just get rid of it, but then the stuff I keep I really love. So yeah. like the Too Faced Gingerbread, I like that one. I knew you'd like it, so I think I packed it because I thought you'd like it. Oh, okay. To play with it. Um, and then I was going to potentially do Kate's makeup, <coughs> so I bought like my ColourPop singles. So I could annoy her with all the colours. <laughs> uh, but we were too tired the day we were going to do it. And we're going out yeah. today, so she wasn't going to let me near her eyes today. <laughs> no bright colours today. <laughs> Um, and then I brought the Sylvie Gunny palette just because I wanted to play with it more. And then I think some of the face products are like definite favourites. Yeah. Like that blush, I love that one. And the Fenty foundation, that's like my favourite. But I love the Lancome too and I love the NARS too. Mm. So some are staples, some aren't. And then apparently yeah. that's going to be discontinued. Discontinued, Kate. Oh, really? Yeah, the Naked Basics. This one. I quite like it. Yeah, I love looking at all Kate's makeup because it's so bashed up. It's and hilarious. You can see which one of you have used the most. <laughs> yeah. It's this highlighter one. Some pan porn. <clears throat> but I like the purple in this to line my eyes because it like makes it really pop. Yes, yeah, I love like the top. I won't talk to you while I do that. This makes my sister cringe when I put it in the inside of my eye. It's going to be risky doing the top. I'm going to go in with Queen from the Sylvia Gunny. Try to do the top one. Just do a little one. I see you, darling. Mm -hmm. little enough. Oh, you're doing a little wing. That's what's down on. A little one. Oh, yeah, I didn't want to strike. I'm really bad at doing them. Especially outside. <laughs> no. Oh. How good was Rhea and Amy's makeup yesterday? I know, yeah. That was my lovely cousins. They did amazing. They're really good at their winged eyeliner. I know, I wish. I feel like I stopped doing it and then I became bad. Like, you have to keep practicing. Oh, yeah. Um, I always feel like mine looks really sad when I do it because I go to, like, low. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's hard to get the right angle on both of them. Yeah. I wanted to get those stamps, but the Beauty News girls did a video about the, like, VAMP stamp thing. Mm. And they were like, oh, it's just, like, it's easier to just do a crap job yourself. Oh, okay. Got an audience. Yeah, my, bro my brother's just spotted <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm <coughs> just poking myself in the eye. I'm going to be quite entertained if you could hear any of that. I might put some more of that. I really like that pink. Are you doing your cut crease? No. no oh, yes, it looks nice. It's alright. I'll set the wall. I'm just going to put S Club underneath my eye. I know, I think it's always a surprise for Kate if she looks at my face and she likes the makeup because I used to be so shit. <laughs> And I'm still not good at like touching my eyes. That's taken me ages to get used to. Yeah. Are you gonna do the mascara lows? Oh, I forgot to grab. Kate got me some of the the long con mascaras again, so I get to play with them again. Yeah. But I brought this. So I've good. just bought the Nadia one out. Oh, there's an ant on makeup. Oh no. Oh, no, I'll put the Nars blush on. Or do you have a better one? I've just got the long con one. I think I've got a tart one. If you want to play with that. But the pads okay. might be too risky for you. Nah. I like this as a shimmer. What one is that? Oh, is that orgasm? Yeah. Kate and my sister-in-law, they only use orgasm, I think. Yeah, because it just gives you a nice glow, like you've got highlighter. Yeah, well, that's why I like that one, like the that blush shadow has got a bit of a glow. Mm. Well, not as much. I need to do my contour on my nose. Oh, a nose contour. Oh. She's gonna get snatched. That <laughs> <laughs> is the Smashbox one. No, that Anastasia. Anastasia. Yeah, I got this for, for last Christmas. You have to see how banged up it is. It's hilarious. Yeah. I don't even know how she did it. How did you? I don't know. I just thought the packaging was shit. <laughs> oh, you took the packaging off? No. You it's attacked got plastic. it? No, I just thought, like, when it's, I don't like when it's cardboard. Oh, yeah. When it's, like, plastic. The plastic's bad. So. No, I can't believe how bad it. Like it just, it looks like, like the the outer packaging looks like shit. Yeah. I think just because of travel, it's always in my luggage. Oh yeah. So before I put mascara on, I'm gonna go back into my spray. Lighting's got all funny. No, already. I hope this is entertaining enough. Even though the lighting is terrible, <laughs> we can we'll relocate and show, we'll show you the makeup at the end, so you can actually see yeah. what we did. I'm going in with my Jeffrey Star lip in Romeo. Yeah, I need to practice tight lighting though. What's that? That's when you put a, the color underneath the top lash. Oh yeah, what's it called? Tight lining. Maritz was like, I love how your sister has all the YouTube terms. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what anything stands for, actually. But I guess it's like part of the community. Yeah, well, you get to know that like, because I watch so much beauty videos. I watch so many people. What yeah. do you think of the lips? Nice. Too bright? No, I like it. <laughs> I can never tell you. <laughs> I think it's a coral pink. I tried to. It looks yeah, very bright nice. now. Yeah, it does look really bright now, but. All right, I'm going for mascara. How you, how's Me your too. process going? So I'm using my Natio Black. I didn't, I forgot mascara as well when I came to Adelaide, so I bought the first one that we came past. Yeah, then I'm using Hypnose with, from Lancôme. And I think that's all you've used for a couple years now, isn't it? Yeah, it is just the best one ever. And then I, I do the top layer as well. I don't know if anyone does that. Oh yeah, I think you see it around sometimes. I just saw some clumps come through. Woo. <laughs> yeah, but it makes them really thick straight away. You just gotta get those out. So you put it on the top too? Yeah. No. Oh, oh, that's dangerous for me, but, oh, I see. All right, 
and it's try dangerous that while you're outside. Yeah, that feels really treacherous out here. Oh yeah. It's a bit clumpy. A bit clumpy. <laughs> there. Oh yeah, that's good. Is it? Are you seeing it now? I think. I got it's one better. really eyelash that's like coming out. Do you want me to tell the girls? You can try it with this brush. This brush look, at, look how spiky this one is. That'll just help separate them. Sorry, she's my sister. I know she doesn't have conjunctivitis. Yeah. No, I need to pull an eyelash off. It's like gone too long. Yeah. Have you got extensions in? No. How are your, your eyelashes are so much more intense than mine. Does that help? Because mm. they get really yeah. long and then they um might still work. Well, and then you take them out. Do you Sometimes, trim them? Like, do you give them a haircut? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm um, putting mascara on, I notice that ones come out really long. Yeah. And it's because it's falling out. I had that happen once. I accidentally put um, false lashes on with the lash glue for the the mini ones, like the separate ones. Yeah. I didn't know that lash glue was meant to last two weeks. Oh, really? That one. <laughs> and then wow. um, I took the lashes off. I had soaked them in glue and stuff. Like no, not in glue, in oil. Yeah. I'd soaked my eyes in oil and stuff. And then like three weeks later, I was cleaning my face and like these beautiful lashes fell off my face. And I was like, what? What was they? Uh, and I took a closer look and it was the plastic ones. Oh. It was pretty funny. Yeah, I had lash extensions before. And it's just, I don't know, it's too annoying. You can't do anything, can't wash your face properly. You've got to look after them and brush them. Yeah, one of the girls at work, she's got them and she has like the lash glue. Um, no, like the lashes shampoo. Yeah. I was like, that's just a good upsell from the beautician, I think. But, um... Oh yeah, can, they, you, can you just use soap? You don't Do you need, need to, to wash, wash them? them? No. But I don't think half the people realise they look like they've got spiders attached to their <laughs> eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they do. It looks like a spider coming out of their eye. Yeah, well, I think you can... Yeah, there was. I saw a girl yesterday, she looked like she had... Yeah, because you can tell it, so... When they go really intense. Yeah. Kind there was a girl at the checkout thing. yesterday and she, I was like, because all she did was foundation and then she had the last extensions. So it looked like intense. Kind of like the most crazy eye now. It's gone all funny. Yeah, I mean, it looks fine to me. Is this because it's clean? So what, does Maritz always want to know the term of things you're doing? And you don't know the terms? Uh, he just likes the YouTube ones and... Mm. No, he's really... Sorry, Moritz is Kate's boyfriend. That's down mm -hmm. as well. It's yeah. been really nice meeting him. He's lovely. Yes. I think the whole family's liked him, so it's nice. Mm. So, yeah. No, I everyone has done. partners. Uh, I need lips. Um, yeah, what are you wearing? Oh, you've still got that one. I bought that for you too. Let's awesome. have a look. Okay, this, one. this is uh, in much better condition. The Huda Beauty Warm Brown. She looks like she's barely used it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really strong. Is it? Yeah, but it's well, good. I always just use one colour from every palette. Yeah. So. Do you want to? Yeah, you have a nude one. Of awesome. course. I do have normal ones. Sorry. <laughs> I always think that you don't have nude. <laughs> I oh, forgot it was really nude. Yeah, well, Kate, Kate used to do all the trends. I remember when she did the foundation lips. Yeah. That was like a big thing. And then I remember when everyone was paying it. it out, and I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah, right. That was right. pretty funny. And then, because I got into makeup so late, but Kate was, Kate, you've been into makeup for like so much longer than me. Yeah, since I was like 13, I reckon. Yeah, and then she used to do my makeup, and I'd sit there like crying. No, we did each other's makeup. Oh, yeah, there's pictures of that. Yeah, won't say what we fully did, but I drew. I know someone got a unibrow. Was that me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and a mole. We yes. Were, we did each other's makeup, so we weren't allowed to look in the mirror until the end. And then we did oh, a photo shoot. <laughs> yes. The joys of growing up with sisters. Yeah. How was it? 
I don't know, is it too light? No, oh, it matches your eyeshadow. You've got a monochrome look. Yeah. I might have the darker one. You know, I put. Do it ombre. Should I try? Ugh, this is gonna be deadly. Oh, yeah, that's good. I just feel like a, a bit dead. So the lips look a bit dead? Yeah. I think all these long wear foundations, because they're so matte. Mm. Oh, like the lipsticks? Yeah. Kind of look a bit full on sometimes. You can put the same color as me on. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I like that color. Yeah. I would wear it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, glossy gloss. Yeah, I'll just cover this. So, I haven't worn gloss in a long time. I'm gonna drop down. Oh, beautiful. Okay. All right, well, I think we're finished. Um, hey. I think we'll, we'll, we'll show you some up close to the makeup, then we'll come back. <laughs> so here we are, we've got the makeup. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I do a little kiss. Oh, very good bye. But thank you so much for watching. Absolutely appreciate it. I hope it's been fun for, as fun for you as it's been for me. <laughs> and me. <laughs> um, if you're new here, I'd love it if you would subscribe, like, leave a comment. And if you're returning, I love you. I love you, as you already know. I love all my followers. Yeah. I love... <laughs> thank you. I love everyone who takes the time out of their day to watch my videos. I uh, absolutely appreciate and adore you. Thank you so much.